Okay, Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This on YouTube is an oracle card reading, so it's not a horoscope. It's an energy reading. It draws on the energy of all Gemini. And so it doesn't matter if you're sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Gemini energy influences your chart, you can apply these themes and energies for the next week or so. I'm not going to date the the videos anymore because I realize people don't care about the dates <laughs> so I'm just not going to do it so this is it's showing up in your life whenever you need it uh, please enjoy I hope you do enjoy um, but if you want each video because I upload a new video every single week for Gemini so if you want the videos hot off the press please subscribe to the channel you help the channel grow and you get the videos as soon as I release them as long as you ring that bell you'll get the notification so please do I always make an extended reading which is a full tarot card spread that articulates um, expands and personalizes the energies that we uncover on the YouTube video that link is below and it always includes a romance reading specifically so Gemini the cards are ready for you. Let's go. Surrender now. This is you refusing to give up. When this card comes up back, well, this is Sagittarius energy, but it's a sense of, you know, you're refusing to give in to chaos around you. You're refusing to give in to craziness. You're refusing to fly the way that you're told. You're refusing to steer into the sun because that's what autopilot wants you to do. You're completely and totally going rogue, but you're going rogue to stay out of the flames. And it's almost like you have a sense, Gemini, that everybody else has gone completely nuts and mad and crazy, and you don't want to be going down with the ship with them. This is a sense of deciding to not give up and deciding to fly in the direction that is opposite the direction that will destroy you. Let's see if you get any other crowning energy that pops out. That's really a bold energy to start off with. The energy of three plus nine is 12, three. This is divinity, taking leadership, divine intervention. You could have just been saved from crashing and burning yourself. A sense of divine intervention has come to basically save you from yourself or to make you realize that you were flying towards something that may have been attractive to you, even though it was going to burn you. Finally realizing it and learning that lesson and realizing that I'm never going to do that again. Another energy did fall out. This is the energy of three as well. Eight plus four is 12 and then one plus two is three. This is you putting your spikes out, walking into a room, a new, a new beginning, a new start, a new start based on old wisdom. This old wisdom is your protection. It is your shell. It is the spikes that you wear or the needles that you wear that you are happy to use on anybody. It's like walking in re with your weapons out, revealing everything that you have in your arsenal and not being ashamed of it because it's like this is natural to you now. You earned it. You're very, very confident and self-possessed and you're starting over knowing that you're protected and nobody's going to mess with you and you're protected by this illumination and understanding of what not to fall for of one not to be deceived by. Gemini, this is a sense of you feeling really strong in and of your own self because now you know what to look out for and what is going to burn you. A sense of you having avoided the flame. This is also Aquarian energy. So it's a sense of being enlightened, um, realizing, and also keeping people away from you, sort of being cold and aloof. Maybe deciding to be alone for a while to set yourself apart from people. Um, here we have clear out the clutter, but it's in reverse. So it could be very difficult for you or you have struggled to discern what to let go of and what to keep in your life. This is the energy of 10. So something is coming to a conclusion, concluding, uh, concluding something that held on to you for a long time, concluding something that was hard for you to shake concluding something that was a tremendous burden for you and still some, for some reason it's 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 holding on to you it could be holding on to you emotionally however a sense of um like that the burden that keeps on giving <laughs> that that's the that, that's the sense of emotionally not being able to let go of something that caused you a great deal of stress and pain um and maybe oppression kind of if that makes any sense 
Um, and I think that this is almost like sort of deeper, deeper than you usually go. It's, it's like scarred for life, but simultaneously you, you, you almost like that the scar is there because it's a constant reminder and a realization. It's like you're keeping it at the surface. You're keeping the hurt at the surface to continue to make you aware of what you have to be wary of. Hmm. Gemini. Co-create with spirit. Destiny. You're hearing the call. You're listening to the voice. Maybe your voice is being listened to. But this is warnings. If you've been seeing warning signs, if, if somebody like if somebody has been warning you, if you've been getting warning calls or warning texts, this is a sense of you letting out a call, letting out, letting out, um, um, getting sort of um almost like being warned or being forewarned that there's something about to come in the future that could be dangerous again or a circumstance or a situation that could re-emerge from the past or that not everything that you thought had come to a conclusion is actually over with this is also a sense yeah no that that's it so the fight isn't over yet but like spirit is there to help you. The fact that you even received that warning means that spirit is trying to guide you to the place where you're going to be safest and happiest and healthy. But it's also like this also has a bigger purpose as well. It's not just about you. Um, time for a deep dive. 60. Love. All of this has to do with La Vie en Rose. That sense of romance. High romance. And this is Libra energy, but it's very much... Um, very much that uh, Venus ruled Libra, that beauty and partnership and togetherness and really sort of feeling like, I, I, you know what I think? I almost feel like you're about to fall in love. Um, you're about to dive in. You're about to get lost in high romance again, even if it isn't with a person, it's with a concept or a project. But there is a sense of warning or forewarning, a, a, a part of you that would not have stop, stopped and and looked and watched and looked both ways before this moment but a sense of carrying baggage that you intentionally carry to in order to put stress and strain on you to remember the hurt and suffering it's almost like you're intentionally carrying baggage into the future so you don't make the same mistakes or you don't dive in too deep because you are somebody who likes to get um, you may be somebody who really likes to get romantic and likes to let the romance sort of overcome you um, this could also, you know, yeah, that's it. Nothing is wasted. Nope. You're not wasting a morsel of the experiences that you've had and what you've been through. Once again, this is the energy of six plus nine. Nine is something coming to a head, something coming to the surface. You being able to have finally sifted through and see garbage for what it is and find a practical use for it. This is that energy centralizing you. So you're finally able to um, find a use for or an application for those experiences from your past that have put a burden on you, but simultaneously w uh, like made you w wake up and realize different aspects about other people that you can't trust. This is take a leap of faith. Nope. You're like, you're, this is like full on cynicism. I got to say this. This is like you being a cynic. You're like, I'm not jumping anywhere. In fact, you would remain very lucky if you decided to not leap into the circumstance or situation. It's like where you would have left, you're now analyzing. You're now like, nope, nope. I'm staying put. Let me look at you. Turn around. Really? You're, you're, you're like putting love through the ringer, love, especially or romance through the ringer. You don't, you're not, you're not seeing things with rose colored glasses anymore. You're kind of done with that. And you're almost like, like giving out a call, like, like you refuse. It's almost like you refuse to believe what you're told. Spirit has a plan. Three plus five. This is the energy of having that higher perspective, that higher viewpoint, that, like I said, a purpose that is above you. Um, this is koala energy, Buddha energy of wanting peace and wanting tranquility. But remember how Buddha became enlightened. He suffered. And so that's this sense of suffering to experience so that you grow and become bigger than you were before. 
but it's not, but, but you, but it's like the suffering is transforming you. So it never really leaves you. Once it transforms you, it's literally part of your essence and your structure now. It's not all about you, but it is inside of you. It's restructured you. Um, this is a sense of finding faith, finding belief, finding peace, even maybe even meditation, staying put. Um, making a decision to not go anywhere, just um, refusing to go, maybe even having a sit-in, protesting against something that you don't believe in, a sense of standing firm in what you believe and the lack of motion demonstrating uh, your faith in a situation instead of motion. Instead of taking a leap of faith, you are taking a sit-in of faith type of energy. Um, here we have now is a lucky time. This is sort of a convoluted energy of maybe things getting out of hand, um, proliferation that is is too much. It's too much to handle. Too many things coming in all at once, or sitting back and watching like watching things unfold and not wanting to be a part of it, wanting to be safely removed from it. The miracles are endless. This is the energy of six as well. You have two six energies, which is love, but this is being chosen, being selected, um, like the messenger of the gods, the steed of the gods, um, um, that that conduit for um, like the delivery system of of um, God, like not just God's word. I think of word because I think of you guys. Um, time to heal. Showing people the way forward through a crazy mess. This is Kundalini energy, 5-5, five, five, an energy of uh, change. Um, also 10, something coming to a conclusion. Something coming, like it's almost like you're realizing your power. You're realizing the, bun the abundance that you already have inside of you. So it's like you don't need it coming in from the outside. It's already there and you've just tapped into it and found it. Take the lead has come out in reverse, which means you're rooting. You are making a decision to stay somewhere. You're making a decision that this is what I want. This is what I believe. And you're not moving me. It, that, what I say, you're taking a stand by standing still. That's this energy. Ooh, that's a really powerful stance. Um, taking a stand by standing still. Five plus eight is the energy of 12, which is three again. You've got a lot of threes. So what that tells me is there's a sense of yourself. Gemini, a, a sense of yourself that's larger and more three dimensional. Um, it's had, it has its highlights, it has its shadows, it's more articulated and detailed than it ever was before. Seeing things very, very clearly, almost looking back and watching and, be, and looking at other people now looking like fools. <laughs> um, realizing almost like standing outside of yourself if i can say that objectively looking at yourself objectively and looking at your choices so you don't make the same stupid decisions again um, and this is what you're doing intentionally you're refusing to make the same decisions again you're refusing to get burned by the fire hold on i'm going to flip the camera around so we can review the cards okay Ooh, so your central energy is nothing is wasted so that is finding a treasure in a trash heap that is turning um, lead into gold. It's a sense of, you see that roadkill there? Well, I'm going to make dinner out of it. Why? Because it's useful. Finding a, a usefulness in a piece of doo-doo situation. That's what it is. But it's also remaining above it, not jumping into it. So I think you understand now. And I think that that's the, that's, that's the silver lining almost. Um that you have learned to keep yourself above circumstances and situations and let the chaos brew beneath you and not let yourself get completely um, embroiled in it. Staying away from the fire, staying away from the pain, taking the warnings and seeing something for what it really is um, instead of getting up close and thinking, oh, it's so adorable. Oh, it's so cute. Um, there is a sense of a future, a future, uh, almost having been tempted, let's put it that way, to get into a very romantic view again, um, to get into something that is maybe uh, uh, sort of, sort of will overtake you and possess you. And instead stopping and saying, nope, not doing this again. Um, I can feel it. I can feel me losing myself. I can understand and I know I have the foresight to understand. 
um, what chaos this is going to lead to and I am not getting into again into it again. Instead, I'm finding my abundance and staying right where I am. I realize that I have all the f passion and fire that I need right inside of me and I'm not going anywhere. I, you, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay right here. Um, finding the abundance within yourself already. I do want to, I do want to expand upon this reading. Um, I will, of course, expand with tarot, but, um, this is the energy of, um, maybe even finding a love that's reliable and dependent or finding the sexiness in a circumstance that, that you wouldn't have found it before. So in general, it's like, what's long-term, what's going to last, what's steadfast and what's reliable. That's sexy now. Your idea of what, what you would put yourself into, your idea of what turns you on, uh, whether it's uh, socially between you and another person or even professionally, has changed. It's shifted. It's shifted to something that's more consistent and less chaotic. Now I'm ready to go over there. What is more... Of the, like, what is, what is more information for Gemini? We're going to find out, um, we're going to articulate and draw out some details from this reading. And also, of course, Gemini, you'll get your romance reading as well. So the link is below and I'll see you in the extended.